to Crank Town City, bitch! Was that good? We're starting this one off in the office today. So we're going to be talking about my process for designing, cutting, and selling plasma cut signs. So, I do all my designs in Inkscape, which you can see right here. I have a little address plate for a lady, and I usually wait until I have, you know, a couple of signs booked up before I start cutting a sheet. So I've got three signs. They're all pretty big signs. I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, jump the gun here and get it all cut. So we have our Inkscape file. I've already saved it as an SVJ and imported it into Sheet Cam over here. There's plenty of tutorials online for Sheet Cam and for Inkscape and I don't think I need to get into that here. But I have this all ready. I have all my paths set up. I just gotta run my post processor and put it into the plasma cutter. Well, let's head out into the shop and get these cut. All right, so got my sheet. You can see it poking out the back of the truck out there. First thing I need to do is prepare the sheet because I'm an idiot and I built the plasma cutter with a table 48 inches wide thinking you know it's a four foot sheet steel is usually on with their measurements but no they're 49 inch sheets so I have to prepare them by cutting an inch off of the side and then I cut the sheet into thirds because that encompasses the full travel of the gantry on my plasma cutter. So, first thing, gotta get these guys set up. Next thing, gotta pull that sheet out and get it on here. And I guess that's time for my girlfriend's big cameo. you'd like to say to the camera? Worst cameo ever. <laughs> so for cutting the inch off, I've got this little 3D printed part. I can just ride that along the edge of the metal and I know I'm cutting exactly an inch off. So let's get that pain in the ass done first. Got the sheet loaded on the machine. Now let's get the old plasma cutter turned on. Got an old irrigation control box from my computer. It's nice. I'm not gonna share that login info. Man, the glare is awful. So I'm running my machine on Linux CNC using the Plasma C config. Um, works pretty good, somewhat difficult to work with, but the forum is very helpful with that. So we always start, uh, I jog the machine as close to the limits as possible, and then hit the old home and button, let it do its little thing. In the meantime, these two switches, that'll fill the bed up with water. So I have on here an old tank that I found at the dump and that's hooked up to the air supply from the top. And there's a feeder tube down to the bottom 
that comes up into the bed right here. So when I flip those two switches, they flip solenoids over that let the air into the tank and push the water up. So it's all self-contained, don't really need any filters or anything. That tank is gonna get bogged down with shit one day and I'm not looking forward to that day. <laughs> but for now it works pretty good. So this is barely gonna fit on my table. So right there is where my sheet This is hard to do with one hand. So then we take these coordinates and we zero the machine out there. And we can come over here and we see all of these should be fitting inside the constraints of the machine. So then just move the, the Z to the top. I still have it set in tenths of an inch. And then we can just run our program. Make sure the plasma cutter isn't set too high. I'm cutting 16 gauge right now, so 35 is good. And this thing is supposed to have a 100% duty cycle on 35 amps. So, fingers crossed. Here it goes. Let me get you on a tripod. the way through the job gonna let the compressor catch up again in the meantime we have this complete sign cut pretty good had a little bit of issue on this side but that's nothing I can't fix with the grinder then the next step is to grind off this whole nasty side and this is the real reason I put an electromagnet in the bench Alrighty, got the signs cut out. And now the next step, so we got these random pieces of baling wire hanging out of the ceiling here. Someday I'll do something more permanent, but today is not that day. And we just stick these signs in there, give them a twist or two usually with two hands. And then we can get them sealed and painted. They wanted a copper finish. So I picked up this spray paint because they didn't have the normal type that I would use for a copper finish. And we'll see how this works. You know what, it doesn't look that bad. Dig it. Let's get you on a tripod. I, I'm i worthless with one hand. So for ceiling, I use Penetrol. It's like eight bucks for this can. And I think it's the first one I bought. So if this just goes on in a light layer. It's clear and it stops it from rusting and it's self leveling. So you can go heavy in one spot and blow it another and it'll self-level, it won't leave any brush strokes. So here I am editing this video, obviously not in the shop. This is just, this is my set. And I realize I didn't shoot an outro, idiot. So, I mean, I'm sure you can imagine the rest of the process. I wet the signs dry and then I meet up with a customer and get money. Uh, I can put a couple pictures on the screen here of the completed signs you saw. 
But yeah, that's about it. As far as marketing the signs go, I just use Facebook. I have a Facebook page for them. Maybe put that on the screen too. Um, and you know, I'm not getting crazy amounts of business, but I'm not really putting much effort into marketing them. Sometimes I will make a post on the local buy barter sell page and then it business is booming man for uh, you know a week or two you know it's a pretty decent amount of money for the amount of effort that goes into it and the amount of money that goes into it unless you're buying a CNC machine which it more power to you man <laughs> I could barely afford to build one. Yeah, I guess that's it. So, thanks for watching. You know, hit the old liker. Give me a subscribe. Maybe leave a comment. I'd, I appreciate anything that's done. You know, I got two subscribers <laughs> on my channel now. And boy, did that make me excited. So, thanks a lot. And I'll see you in the next video.